Hi everyone, today I wanted to do an updated tour of my salon. I've recently purchased some new equipment which I wanted to show you and I also wanted to share with you some of my storage ideas. As you can see I have a rather large workstation. Uh, lucky for me the room does accommodate this and I've also got enough room on the right there for a small petty station as well. These are my CCFL slash LED lamps. It has an auto feature, so as soon as the hand is placed into the lamp, the light will activate. It has four timer settings on the back, a 30, 60, 90 and 120 seconds. Uh, this lamp cures both UV and LED products. It is an auto shut off feature, so as soon as the timer has finished, it will switch itself off. My digital photo frame I use this to showcase photos of nails that I have done and it is running the whole time my clients are having their service done I find it's a great way of clients saying oh I like this or I like that and it might give them examples of things that they would like done to their nails these are my stamping plates I keep these in albums the first album we're looking at consists of all of my round plates and then these two smaller ones have my rectangular plates in them. I predominantly use Bundle Monster and Born Pretty plates and I do also some have some of the uh, Moyu UK plates as well. These are great to display the plates in. As you can see, the plastic envelopes are transparent so it's quite easy for the clients to choose what design they would like. These are my gel polish swatches. Each one of these nail tips was painted by myself. Um, it was cured in the lamp and then top coated and cured in the lamp. Uh, you will notice um, some clear tape with some numbers on it. This is actually so that I can find the corresponding number on the bottles. You'll see a bit later in the video how I keep where I keep my gel polishes. Um, and these numbers just allow me to easily find the colour that the client has selected. These are my glitter swatches. I literally have, I don't know, three to four hundred different glitters. You can see a white label of each of the wheels. This helps me determine uh, which drawer my glitter is in and then each glitter is labelled um, on the swatch wheel as well as in the little pots that they're in. You'll see this later in the video and um, yeah this just makes it easier for me to find the glitter that my client has chosen. This is my e-file. The brand is strong. I don't believe it's available anymore. However, it is the same as the Micro NX. And this is the little container that I keep all of my sanitized uh, drill bits in. I also have handy uh, pump bottles of acetone, isopropyl alcohol, and a spray sanitizer uh, there on my desk. I just wanted to mention the glass top that I have for my desk. I purchased this from IKEA. It's, um, it comes separate on its own. You can buy legs to screw into it on the underside. It's 52 centimetres in depth, which is actually perfect for a nail desk, and it's one metre wide. It's completely opaque, so you can't see anything that's underneath. There is a little bit of a gap, as you'll see in a minute, between the glass and the laminate underneath. I actually prefer to use a glass top table as I find the laminate scratches and marks quite easily. So this is easy to clean and keep it looking nice. You can see the gap here. Um, on the right hand side you might be able to see a silver disc. That's where the legs screw in if you want to purchase this separately for something. Um, I'm not sure how much the legs are but I'm sure you'll be able to find that on the IKEA website. Here I'm just showing you my camera, video camera setup. 
the video camera screws into that little angle bracket there and as you can see it's directly above the work that I'm doing so it gives a very close-up view of the, the detail um, and I can look into the viewfinder on the video camera to see if I'm in shot and also easily reach the camera so that I can zoom in and out as required. And here I'm just showing you what it looks like when the camera is actually attached to it. This is my light that I use. It is a daylight brand. It's an LED light and I just absolutely love this. I've had it for about four weeks now and the difference it's made is amazing. I've found it's made a big difference with my videos as the light is a lot more truer and natural and it's not distorting colours as much. I opted to buy an extra base um, with mine because as you can see it would have been difficult for me to use the clamp that comes with it in this situation on my desk and yeah I found out that there was a base that I could purchase at a separate price which I did all up I think this cost me about 140 Australian dollars I bought it from one of my salon suppliers um, I'm not sure where you can buy them in Australia if you're not a licensed technician it um, as I said throws off a really nice light um, the switch is a touch switch it's very easy to operate you hardly need to use any pressure on it whatsoever it's really simple to fit the light into the base it pulls out and you simply just push it back in there's no special tools required for that at all it has two pivot points this one down lower and there's also this one that's up a bit higher I found this great having the two pivot points because you can position the light exactly where you want it to be I found that uh, originally I had it set a bit lower but it was blocking my eye contact with my client so I just played around with um, the position until I got it into a more suitable position for us On the right side of my desk I like to keep items and products that I use frequently. Items such as my acrylic brushes, primer brushes, brushes I use for correction, my primers, my prep products, cotton wool, my sanitizer, things like that. I have tons of nail products and items that I need to stash away so therefore I need lots of storage ideas and these are the drawers that I do use to keep everything in and I will show you one by one what each of those consist of. In this drawer here I keep my acrylic powders and liquids. I disperse my acrylic powders and liquid into smaller jars so that I don't have uh, product contamination. In this drawer I have my tips, my tip cutters and my lint free wipes. This is them here, there will be a link to this in my description box. These are great for removing the tacky layer from gel polish. There's absolutely no lint. This drawer is where I keep all of my stamping polish and bits and pieces I need for my stamping. These are my mini bottles of Mundo Dunas polish. And you can see that I've stamped the top of each bottle to make it easier for me to find the colour that I require. This is my Creative Shop Stamper. I find that this stamper teamed with the Mundo Diona Stamping Polish makes it almost a foolproof application every time. These are all of my nail foils that I have um, displayed quite nicely, all neat and tidy. In this drawer I have all of my rhinestones. I love my rhinestones and Swarovski crystals and I've come up with some ideas on nice ways of you know keeping these um, easy, easy to find and in nice little boxes so that you know they're not getting scratched or um, lost in the drawers.
I'm a little bit OCD with storage. I like to have things very neat and tidy and compact and if I can find containers that make that job easily for me, I will pay money to buy them just, just so it looks nice and it's um, easy to find because when, when you have clients you don't want to be fussing around too much trying to locate the things that you need for your nail art. This drawer has all of my pigment powders in it. I have lots of different powders as you can see and in the corner there are all of my shimmer uh, glittery mixes, my mermaid effect and things like that are in there as well. This is a drawer of coloured acrylic powders which I use every now and then and in this drawer is all of my extra glitters that I haven't um, fit into my pots um, so they're there when I do run out I can just top up my pots. Here I'm showing you these drawers, they're just so light and easy and it's great to be able to just pull them out and put them on the desk so the clients can choose what they would like. This is where I keep my gel polishes, I like to keep them in the dark so they're in a drawer and as I showed you earlier on the swatches, I have numbers on the swatches and those numbers correspond with the numbers on top of the bottles so that I can find them quite easily. In the bottom drawer I keep my salon towels. In this top drawer is all of the implements and products that I use on a regular basis. It's uh, quite easy to get on the, the top drawer there on the right hand side and I have all of my, um, my glues, my implements, my buffers, my brushes and yeah things like my gel top coat and base coat and yeah, finishing products and things like that so they're easy to grab out of that drawer as well. Another thing that I do is sort of have backups of all my products because I don't like to run out so this drawer has a lot of my backup products in it. The drawer that you're looking at now there's a heap of envelopes those envelopes contain all of my clients' files. I use a file for each client and therefore I don't need to um, sanitise it in between. I just give it a quick spray with Sunny Prep, and yeah, it's ready to go on the client. It's not used on anybody else. The bottom drawer, I just keep cotton pads and things like that in. This drawer has um, regular polish and glitters, just as spares that I don't use often. They're my acrylic white pads. In here are my buffer blocks, files and bits and pieces, my flexi finger. This is my swatch sticks that I quite often use and the little um, plastic swatches for my polish um, displays. In this drawer are excess brushes, nail art brushes, all sorts of different things, pens, things like that. In here is more excess glitter. And also in here there are some extra wipes and pads and things. This drawer is a drawer of acrylic powders um, that I've used in the past, NSI and different brands that I've still got little bits and pieces of just in case I, I want to use them for something. In this drawer I have my little pink heater. I've got this just in case I decide to do IBX services. This is my, um, it's a coffee mug warmer plug it into a USB port. I bought that for my mon monomer so that if my if it's cold I can warm my monomer up. In this drawer I have a lot of containers, um, all sorts of containers like I said I'm OCD about that. These are the containers I use for my glitter and there's plenty of other stuff in there as well. This is another drawer with just spare tips and wipes and containers as well and this drawer is more storage of buffer blocks etc. This is how I store my glitter. It's in these little pull out drawers which I got from Officeworks for around 16, 17 Australian dollars and in those I place all the pots which are labelled. Each drawer is labelled and that label corresponds with the white label which were on my glitter swatches earlier in the video and it makes it so much easier for me to locate those glitters when a client requests them. I found this to be a really, really good way of storing my glitter and it works for me. This is my Valentino dust extractor. 
I was talking to Princess Shan 1986 on YouTube and she had purchased one of these and was telling me it was really, really good. So I went out and purchased one as well. It cost around 300 Australian dollars and it was from a supplier, I think it was in Perth. Um, I found this to be really, really good at eliminating dust. It is a bit more of a, an expensive option, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than going out and purchasing um, one of the well-known brands of table that has the dust extraction in it. It comes apart quite easily. The little white wavy bit that you can see is the filter. This needs to be cleaned after each service. So you just literally slide off the top grate and then the rest of it comes apart quite easily and you just simply upturn the filter onto a bin and tap it a few times to remove all those loose particles and dust that's been um, trapped inside it. You can also give it a blast with a um, compressed air, like the spray cans that you can buy. Um, these need to be changed on a regular basis, but I've had mine for about four weeks now and I'm still using the same filter, but you can buy extra filters as well. But it would depend on how many clients you have as to how often you would need to replace that. And as you can see, it's just easy to put back together. In a minute, I'm going to show you how loud it is. It is quite loud on the high setting, but I tend to use it on the low setting. So you'll hear that just shortly. As you can hear, it is quite loud, but I tend to keep it on this low setting so I can still hold a conversation with my client. This is my polish shaker. I use this with all of my gel polishes, but I do find it's really, really good at um, shaking the Mundo Dilna stamping polishes, which do have a tendency to separate. This is the camera that I use to take all of the still images of my nails. It is a digital SLR. And this is the video camera that I use to record all of my YouTube videos. I use the software editing program by Wondershare. I think it's called Wondershare Video Editor. I found Windows has been crashing a lot lately um, with their editing program, so I've now changed over to the Wondershare and it's fabulous. In this top cupboard, I keep all of my chemicals, my isopropyl alcohol, acetone, um, all sorts of things like that and my monomer and yeah I've just got a bit of extra storage up there for things that I, I don't use a lot of but um, yeah they've been packed away nice and neatly in those containers. Well that's a wrap for my salon tour. I do apologise that this video has gone on for so long however there was quite a bit that I wanted to cover because I really wanted to share the equipment and the storage solutions with you guys. If you've got any questions, I will be putting links to products and storage ideas in the description box. But if there's anything in there I haven't covered, please just ask me the question and I will endeavor to get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will be bringing more videos of my work to you very, very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.